Good morning, you guys. So uh, I am awake. I've been working on the computer for a little bit. Chad went out this morning to uh, go snowboarding. Normally, with my back, I can't snowboard all day, so he'll go ride in the morning, and then he'll come back um, for me, and then we'll go together snowboarding. So that's what's going on right now. And it is... Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. Got a text from Trav. Babe, been walking for a long time, got stuck in the middle of nowhere. Saw another guy and we've just been hiking out. Everything's fine, just won't be there. Just won't be there exactly at one. This is like, okay, now I'm kind of freaking out because, um, hold on, let me text him back and make sure. Do you mean you got stuck in the middle of nowhere like how do you get stuck in the middle of nowhere where are you snowboarding like that you get stuck in the middle of nowhere i know i sound like angry because i'm like scared um for him and like i don't understand like why he would go snowboarding somewhere where you could pop like potentially get stuck and have to like hike out of it's like normally he comes at noon and it's one o'clock so like i don't get it So I texted him to see if he needed me to send help. <sighs> Travis, fucking kill me. I tell him every time before he leaves to go snowboarding, please be safe. Like, I don't like when he goes in, like, the trees and stuff, when he snowboards in with the trees. It's just really dangerous and stupid. Like, you can have fun without going through trees. But now he's gone and got himself lost in the middle of nowhere and then is hiking out. I don't know. I don't know, guys. So I don't even know if I'm going to go snowboarding today because he's probably going to be so tired by the time he gets back that he might not want to go. Or he just might say like, yeah, I'll go, but like only because he feels bad for me. I don't really want to like make him go out if he's going to be tired now. So <sighs> I swear like something has happened so many times to where I haven't been able to go snowboarding this season that I'm almost thinking it's like I should not be snowboarding. I don't know. It's really weird. And it's starting to, like, it was really pretty this morning. Let me show you. It was really pretty this morning, but it's gotten kind of, like, overcast, and the sun's not really out, so it's probably pretty cold out there for him to be, like, stuck somewhere. Oh, Trav kills me. Anyway, so I'm just going to basically wait for him to get back and just stay by my phone in case like I need to send help. I text him, do I need to send help out to come find you? We'll see, it's one o'clock, one o five now. He was supposed to be here at noon, so we'll see how long it takes him to get back to civilization. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been about 30 minutes since I uh, talked to Trav last and I haven't heard back from him and the weather looks like it's getting pretty bad out there. So I don't know if you could tell, but like it, the sky's pretty dark and the sun's gone and it looks like it's pretty overcast up on the mountain. And I know you can't tell from the window, but it is snowing outside and it's very cold. So um, I'm starting to like get worried and concerned. I just like, I kind of wish he would just text me back and let me know he's okay. But because I haven't heard from him and just like knowing that he was like, I don't know you guys, Travis is the kind of person that like if something is going wrong, like he doesn't tell people it's going wrong. He like kind of is like, oh, everything's going to be okay. Like he's always kind of been like that. Um, so the fact that he texts me to let me know this is why I'm not going to be here when I'm supposed to um, and that he's like lost and having to hike out and not snowboard, he's clearly somewhere where like, you're not supposed to be snowboarding because you can't snowboard and you have to take your board off to like walk a long way. <sighs> so I'm just like a very worried wife right now and just like really concerned for his safety and well-being. Um, I wish she would just text me. Like I don't even, I have no idea where he is on the mountain. There's so many different places he could have gone. So if I try to like call 
for somebody to like look for him i wouldn't even know where to tell them like the vicinity of area that he's in oh travis i'm gonna kill you i just i can't stop staring at my phone it's like waiting for him to text or for him to like come through the door but it's like every minute that goes by feels like an hour when like your husband tells you that he's like kind of lost in the snow on a mountain when the weather's not very good I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I just want my husband to be back and him to be okay and to be safe. So it's been a while. Every time I hear like something by the door, I like run to the door to see if it's Travis and it's not. And it's been a little while and I'm like, I'm like really scared actually. And I don't know where he is and I'm really kind of freaking out guys. So I think that I'm going to um, head down to the hotel lobby and just ask like, um, you know what they do and uh, I don't even know like they send somebody out to the mountain to like start looking for him like <sighs> I don't know what to do but I'm in a, I'm about to go downstairs right now to like go try to talk to somebody without like crying and freaking out because I know in like cases like this I really need to stay calm and not like start crying and freaking out so <sighs> I'm just gonna breathe and go downstairs and um see like what the protocol is for sending somebody out to try to find my husband. Hello? Hi. I've been like having a panic attack up here. Hey. Uh, that's why I text you exactly what was going on. I said everything is okay. We just have to like get out of where we're at. We're stuck in the middle of fucking nowhere. We've been walking for an hour and a fucking half <sighs> trying to get back. There's like nobody around. Basically, Got stuck way out here. I've been hiking for like an hour and a half with this guy back here. I'm trying to get back. Shit, dude. There's my tracks. Just found a road. Don't know really where it is. Just, dude, that's why I told you I did not want to freak you out. I just wanted to try to advise you what was going on. Oh, I, I tell you all the time, text... don't go through the trees. Don't go through the powder. No, and I then you hurt. get stuck in the middle get... of nowhere. I didn't get hurt and that's why I texted. I said, look, I'm just advising you what's going on. Well, next time you might not be so lucky and you'll be stuck out there in a snowstorm. Well, honey, that's why I text you. And then I will have no so. idea where you are and neither will anybody else. And that mountain's huge to have to try to send help for someone when you don't even know where they are. All right, so my husband and I just had a little battle, a little fight. A little tiska tasket. <laughs> what do you call like a little, I don't know, people that are married fight. Um, but we always talk and like communicate and make up at the end. Like when we fight, we don't fight like we're mad at each other for like a day or like we're really good about that. Um, we talk it out. Communication's key in a relationship. So basically just like yelled at him, got mad at him because he like scared me. He gave me diarrhea, made me cry, gave me a panic attack all within like an hour. <laughs> So basically, you think these people out here want to see my wiener? Probably, yeah, probably. All right. <laughs> Maybe, probably not, probably. Um, so guys, I ended up getting a Starbucks. I actually got soy milk this time, vanilla latte with soy milk because they were out of almond and coconut milk, which I normally get the coconut milk, but I actually kind of like the soy milk better than the coconut milk. So when I went down there, I was like, I need to get a coffee. I'm gonna probably be up for the next 24 hours with a search party looking for my husband in the middle of a snowstorm, lost in a mountain somewhere, <laughs> which is a bad snowstorm right now, is there not? Well, Come on, good... why can't you just tell, looks say like, the truth? Looks like something's coming in. It's like there could be a cold snap running through. Oh my God, he's ridiculous, <laughs> you guys. Travis will not, I don't want to touch your sweaty clothes, you nasty little thing. He's butt ass naked right now, so I can't. But you said that she wanted to Would you wiener. stop putting your wiener out the window? Oh my God, you're gonna get us in trouble, Trav. <sighs> um, clearly my husband likes to, what are the, <laughs> you're gonna get arrested for those people that um, flash people in public? No, no, what are look, those people look, called? Is, see, you could, you could be hanging out like this and you'd be like, oh, he's wearing, he's wearing pants. But I'm really not, because I could like pull this away. You have no idea. What are the people that flash people in public? Flashers. Flash. <laughs> Travis is a flasher. That's what he just did out at our window just now. Anyway, um, like I said, Travis likes to make things that are like a really big deal, like not a big deal at all. Like there could literally be somebody murdering me, and he'll be like, "Oh, she's fine. Don't worry." Right? Am I right though? Yeah, it's near that flesh wound. <laughs> 
Uh, he knows that he's like that. So I'm really hungry and uh, they did stop the gondolas, babe. They did? Yeah. So dramatic. <laughs> Would you stop saying that? People are gonna think like I'm like over dramatizing what's actually happening and I'm not. No, I, I was stuck very, very bad today. It took me two hours to walk out. And I was in like, literally knee deep snow, walked five fucking miles. Okay, so, but can you tell them that yourself so they don't think that I'm like overreacting because you keep calling me a drama queen <laughs> or saying that I'm being so dramatic? Okay, or not, whatever. I just told them, honey. If I, you're all going in the other room. You need to put some clothes on. Can you put some clothes on? You're always naked, always. Would have thought you were the ex-porn star in this family. My gosh. Oh, are you? <laughs> this is my double OTD. You guys, I, I tell Travis okay, to put it. clothes on. So my wiener is covered, I think. He literally put a jacket on, but no pants. You look pretty hot though. Wait, can you see my wiener? No. <sighs> okay, so basically we're gonna go get some food. I'm not snowboarding today. What do you want me to tell him? That I'm not being dramatic and that you really did get lost and it was scary. Yeah, so I got stuck today very bad. There's no lift, there's no signs, there's nothing. There's nobody around. Fortunately, there was one other dude that was kind of like with me and it took us two hours to walk out. Basically, like almost like five miles walking in knee deep snow to finally get to like civilization. Basically. So I wasn't being dramatic. But you keep saying that I am. Well, you're crying over here and shit. Well, I was worried about you should be glad I was crying. What you should have been... You should be worried if I'm like trying to have a party or something while you're... Yeah, maybe he won't, maybe he won't get back today. Mm. Or ever. Woo! Alright, party people. We are finally in the car. Um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but this is my merch. I have merch. Um, we're gonna be having brand new merch coming out that I'm really excited on that we've been working on. And, uh, I'll let you guys know when that comes out. But I always have the merch link down below in the description. It's just like down a little bit, so... You guys wanna be twinning with me? We have some cute stuff on there. I got the couscous burrito, creamy broccoli soup. I've got the Thai soup, Thai peanut soup, and he got the burrito. Looks really yummy. Do you guys know that the dirtiest thing in your hotel room is your boyfriend? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> no, it's the freaking I'm remote. So shot. we literally hold like it like this. I lick it. I have to be careful with you in my shop because you're always having your penis hanging out. If my penis isn't hanging out right now. I'm wearing some pants. This is we're ending our vlog with this humbling angle. Oh, that my gosh. This is like deja vu. They're gonna think it's the same damn it's thing. It's not from the yesterday. same day, you guys. It's the day that my husband caused me to have more gray hairs and he's trying to kill oh, me early from gosh. stress. <laughs> you were so excited. So dramatic. Like I, I, That's what he tells me. I think me. I finally got rid of him. And it will look like an accident. Oh my god, you're so awful. How could you say that? That's so You that couldn't have so planned it better. I mean, you're awful. What would I do without you? I'd be so lonely. You're my soulmate. You'd be so sad. I would literally like be by myself probably for the rest of my life. No, you Missing be, you and dying of a broken heart. You'd be like bummed for like a week. And then you'd start hitting the dating scene and stuff. You're I told, crazy. I told you. I, I told, hope that's I told, not what you were I told, doing. If I died. I told you earlier you'd be like single and out of a club, and He's then it, then guy'd come up to you and he'd be like, "Hey, like what's going on? Like I'd love to take you on a date." And you'd be like, "You know, my husband just died like a week ago, oh and you know I just need some time." Um, and he's like, "All right." So then you tell him, "Like, give me a call in like two days." Oh like, my God, Travis, see that's so awful. Like I would never. <laughs> That's never even careful. You're pulling the sheet down. I don't have oh anything. goodness! All Went right. from PG to R to it's triple not, X. It's not. It's not. Not at all. Anyways, oh, speaking of you which, guys, this is a family vlog. What family? Yeah, you're trying. You're always trying to like make it R-rated. It's YouTube, honey, not Pornhub. Let's get with the program. Can I ask a, a question though? Okay, go. And this would be maybe maybe you would have the right answer. Why can it not just be X-rated? Why does it have to be three X's? Is like one X like sort of perverted and two X's is even worse and then three X's. So what if they start making a four and five X's? Is that even gnarlier than three X's? 
Uh, is this what you consume your thinking and your thought process with? Well, right now, because it's my, my mind bounces around, it's going to go to somewhere else in about two seconds. See, now I'm thinking about pizza. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. And you know we'll be here tomorrow, unless I get stuck again. <laughs> you better not, I'll kill you. Will, Will you? you?